this is our first big harvest this summer and it is beautiful so if people ask you if gardening is worth it uh, my answer is yes that's a lot of food and there's still a lot more in the garden so all right it is a very hot august saturday school starts on monday um which is not super convenient because now it's time to start canning and doing all that fun stuff putting things away um, and as you can see i have a lot to work on so uh, there's still a lot in the garden so i'm going to show you what's still left um because it's a lot <laughs> Here we go. All right, so we still have a huge bed of carrots. Yeah, one of them. I already, I planted the potato beds with fall crops um, last weekend. Got more carrots over here, more peppers. I picked a bunch of peppers, there's still a lot more. The broccoli is still putting off little florets. So we've been eating those. The cabbage is still doing well, even though it's been super hot. Um, one is like flowering, which I think is actually like pretty, so I'm gonna let that happen. But the other ones I think are about ready. The other purple ones Mommy, I think are about one. ready to cut. Not right this second, bud. The green ones are looking good. So there are a ton of tomatoes still to turn. Um, I did the Florida weave, the string broke, and everything fell on each other, and it's a really big mess. So next year, I don't know. I'm going to do something different because that did not work. And I'm having to dig through tomatoes to find the ripe ones. Um, we have sunflowers that are probably, I don't know, 12, 15 foot tall maybe. I don't know. They're huge. I have marigolds that are like as tall as I am, which isn't super tall. I'm only like 5'3", but you know. Um, still lots of peppers. Even though I picked a bunch, I'm going to be pickling those. Like I said, tons and tons and tons of tomatoes. The birdhouse gourds have just went crazy. They are everywhere. The zucchini and squash is still doing well. Um, yeah, have some really huge, I don't know if you can tell, but these, these are like, I think that's, they're huge. Um, watermelon beef steaks. So I can't wait for those to start turning. I do want to share that I did pick some spaghetti squash today, even though they're not really ready, because I got squash spores or squash squash bugs over here. And the crazy thing is, I know it's a squash. I guess I didn't think about it. I companion planted with my zucchini and squash over there, and they have no squash bugs at all. They are doing great. Just, you know, what, 15, 20 feet away, my spaghetti squash got attacked. So next year, companion plant with it as well. Oh, look at this. Queen lime. Zinnia, you're beautiful. <laughs> then back here. Um, it's just a jungle, y'all. It's just a jungle. The birdhouse gourds are really big. They're so pretty. They're pulling the fence over. Um, I love them. I can't wait to make birdhouses with them. The greenhouse still has the shade cloth. I did plant some fall stuff in there as well. Been watering in there, it's pretty warm. But overall, the garden at the beginning of August is a magnificent beast. I love her. She's blessed me with lots of harvest and lots of work to do. So, hopefully, you're gardening too and you're picking stuff and doing the same thing if not definitely recommend planning for fall or planning for next spring but look at those colors man beautiful have a good one